Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my full review on this guy. This is the Diskin IDF folder, Matt Diskin IDF Integral Diskin folder. Um, this knife was loaned to me for review by my buddy Joe, aka the Knife Whisperer. He will be linked down below. Thank you again, Joe, for sending this to me to check out. And uh, this one has been intriguing. This knife on paper does so many of the things that I like in a knife. And in real application, it also does so many of the things that I really like in a knife. And so it's an interesting conclusion I've kind of come to on this one. And I'm just gonna be very honest about it. Before I jump into how I feel about it, uh, we will go ahead and talk about what we're playing with here ingredient wise I'll try to be pretty quick because I think I went over a lot of that in my first impressions etc but uh, basically we have a Riat manufactured frame lock but it is an integral so instead of two handle scales that are kind of screwed together we have one piece of titanium that has been milled out and creates the handle of the knife out of one single piece on that you have the clip screwed on, we have a stainless steel insert, hardened interface locked into there, and then we also have an over travel stop in connection with that piece, and then we've got the pivot hardware. Um, and that's it. Actually sorry, the over travel stop is not part of the hardened interface. The over travel stop is part of this little pivot bolster, um, pivot collar thing. I don't know what you would, <laughs> I guess that's a pivot collar. It's just a, an abnormal shape compared to most, which are just like kind of discs, but that's the over travel stop. The blade is M390 and it's ground quite well. We've got this kind of blood groove fuller thing going on up here. We've got a nice handsome swedge out to the tip from about uh, kind of the halfway point on the blade. Um, and then we've got a relatively I wouldn't call it a thick blade stock. I'd call it kind of right down the middle. Uh, it's about PM2 thickness to my naked eye. So yeah, integral handle, M390, machined titanium clip, interface, stainless steel hardened interface, and an over travel stop slash pivot collar thing. That's what we're working with here. Um, as is typical with React made knives, the, the fit and finish, the function, the perceived tolerances that I can feel in a knife, everything is immaculate. <laughs> it's very, very well put together, very well finished. Um, the belt satin grinds on the blade look incredible. Everything is even and lined up perfectly. Um, there's nothing that is off-center or asymmetrical. Asymmetric? Asymmetrical? There's nothing <laughs> out of whack here. Everything is right where it should be, and the action is crispy. It's not the most drop shutty knife, uh, but it's not like there's real resistance there either. It's no Sabenza where I'm having to like crank it down. It's just once you're past that detent, it's fairly smooth. Um, it's kind of a light blade. It's a lighter knife overall than I was expecting it to be. So that's kind of where we're at materials wise. Now I've carried this knife it's been in my possession over a week now, and I haven't carried it every day, I'm being totally honest, but I've made a point to carry it a good few times. I've done some light cutting with it. This is a beautiful knife that doesn't belong to me and is going right back to Joe when I'm done filming this, frankly. Um, so I, I didn't want to be hard on this knife, and I wasn't. I opened some packaging with it. I just did an unboxing uh, with it right before starting to film this. So I've cut through some tape. I've made a point to cut through some cardboard, see how it does uh, as like a continuous cut, passing through a, a large sheet of material. And it's cut very, very well. Um, the edge is very sharp. And the thinness behind the edge is acceptable. It's not like, wow, this thing's a laser, but it's good. Um, and just for like a balanced EDC blade, like it's functionally very good. Uh, if you're looking to get a cool integral titanium frame lock in this size range that you plan on actually using, I would have no qualms about saying that this would actually be a very proficient user knife. It's a little pretty, I think, for most people <laughs> to actually use, um, but there certainly are those among us who, who would use a knife like this and, and wouldn't feel bad about it. Talking to Joe about this knife, he let me know that I think there were like a total of 
450 of these made, if I'm not mistaken, and that's across a couple of variants. So there were some with kind of a, a carbon fiber inlay right here. Um, there were some that were like all coated black, I think, and uh, they're all very similar, but different finishes and different inlays, things like that. Uh, the other ones that I've seen in person, I remember, looked every bit as phenomenal as this one. I think, frankly, if I were picking one of these for myself, it would probably be just kind of this version. I feel like on an integral knife especially, but titanium frame locks in general oftentimes, I like the look of just using the titanium as the media that's being worked with here. Um, it just it works especially with the integral construction to just have it like the material isn't really what you're looking at it's how that material has been used so all of the milling that's happening here the fact that it's all milled from one single piece it just feels engineered in a way to me again not that i dislike the versions that have inlays and stuff i actually think they look really cool but i just love that it's just kind of showcasing how this knife was made <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. That's the way I perceive it. Um, the ergos on this are, are pretty good for me. Uh, the size of the knife, first of all, is about just right for my hands. I don't have a bunch of extra real estate, but I'm not cramped. I've got a good purchase on this knife. The foremost finger groove is very comfortable for me. Everything else is nice and neutral, so there's no hot spots anywhere. Even the clip isn't digging into my hand. There's no jimping up here. I love that there's no jimping up there. There's no jimping anywhere, frankly, other than the flipper tab, which is <laughs> fine with me because the, the flipping action works fantastic and it's not an annoying amount of jimping. Um, even where my finger comes into contact, come on focus, with the flipper tab and there's a little bit of jimping there. It's not digging into me in any way. It's not uncomfortable. It's just providing a nice little guard there that's keeping me from slipping forward. So overall the fact that they skipped any unnecessary jimping, they shaped the handle well, it's got, I don't know if it's, I've found in a lot of integrals. There's a certain sensation that you get not just like checking out the knife and playing with it because it's integral, but in hand, the fact that this kind of back strap, <laughs> the spine of the handle, if you will, is just nice and solid and kind of flush. The way that that sits against my palm when I'm really bearing down on the knife, it feels better to me than a knife that has like barrel spacers and you can kind of feel that gap there. You could also achieve this by having like a nice long back spacer or something. As long as it sits pretty flush, it, it should feel about like this. But there's, uh, there's a sensation in hand for an integral as well is what I'm really trying to say. The pocket clip, Joe warned me before I got this knife that I might find it's something that's not totally up to my preferences. Um, and he was right. I don't hate this pocket clip really don't. But if there's a weak point on the knife, I would have to say if I was going to like assign a weak point to it, I would probably say it is the pocket clip. It's just, it looks fantastic. It follows that line of the knife where it's milled out. You can see it mirrored on this side. There's that nice like pocket that it's just setting right into. It looks really, really good and it fits the design and it's, it's got this sense about it that's very nice. Um, but in and out of pocket, it's just okay. And then once it's in pocket, I just have kind of a pet peeve of clips that are scratchy and pokey at the tip um, for a number of reasons. <laughs> and this isn't like a new thing for me. I've owned plenty of knives across the span of time where it's been an issue. So there's been a couple of times where I've been getting out of my car and if I've got a leather wrapped steering wheel when I'm getting out of the car and it's got a pokey sharp clip and I accidentally like graze the bottom of the steering wheel as I'm going by, I've like gouged the leather on my steering wheel before. I have a daughter who's five years old and wants to climb over me and have tickle fights and all that kind of stuff. And if I have a knife like this in my pocket, I have to cogniz be cognizant before I start roughhousing with my daughter, take it out of my pocket, set it up somewhere. And there are knives I have that I don't have to worry about that with. A nice wire clip or a good well-shaped fold-over deep carry clip, or even not deep carry, but just like a Spyderco spoon clip or something. Those nice rounded edges 
they don't present any issues for me. And so the steering wheel thing, the playing with my kid thing, even just if I've got it in my pocket and I'm walking and brush my wrist up against it and it's a sharp clip like this, it's not ideal. <laughs> I, I don't think there's an argument functionally for having a pointy clip. Aesthetically, there is. I could admit this clip looks fantastic. And I understand to a lot of people the aesthetics and the design are more important at the end of the day than this one bit of functionality. But to me, a pocket clip is a really important thing on a knife. Um, I carry all the knives that I own. I, I struggle to own knives that I won't carry. I own one knife right now that I won't carry, and I'm going to sell it. <laughs> um, I just, it doesn't do anything for me after if I have the most exciting knife in the world and it's been like a grail for forever and it's really really cool and I get it and then it's too pretty to carry I'm gonna sell it I just it eats at me <laughs> there's stuff that I don't carry and if it's not the way that way for you then that's fine if this is a knife that you want to get and never carry then this pocket clip won't bother you at all because it looks phenomenal and even in hand it's not hot spotty it doesn't bother me in hand but it's less than ideal in pocket. And a lot of people might think I'm being too harsh about that point. I can be a little harsh about it on a number of knives. And when that's a thing for me, it tends to kind of be a thing. Now, all of that said, I haven't found that this knife is uncomfortable to carry. It actually sits in pocket quite, quite well. The weight is totally tolerable for a titanium frame lock. In fact, I'm surprised it's as light as it seems to me. I don't know what the actual weight of this knife is on a scale and I don't care. I'm not really a specs guy. But my experience with the knife so far, I've, I've been surprised how light it seems for being an integral titanium frame that doesn't have additional internal milling or anything like that. I don't know how you would on an integral frame, but it's not a thin blade stock either. It's just, it's an all metal construction and it's, it feels pretty light to me considering that. Is it stupid light? Is it bug out light? No, it's not trying to be. Um, but what that relates to in pocket is that it's actually quite comfortable to carry. If this pocket clip, instead of terminating at this point here, terminated I don't know, there instead. And instead of it being pokey, it was rounded. Or even bring it all the way here, but just really round it instead of leaving these kind of corners on it. I would probably love this knife because the action is fantastic. It carries well, it goes in my hand well, it cuts well. It does just about everything that a knife should do well. But at the end of the day, for me and my lifestyle and the things that are important to me in a knife, I just, it bothers me when it's a, when it's a snag point there. It's uncomfortable and I don't like that. Um, so is it the worst offender? Again, no. In hand, it's not a problem, which would be even worse than it being a problem in pocket. Um, a clip that creates a hot spot in your hand, I think is even worse than it just being snaggy ball being clipped into your pocket. Um, so it's, it's only like half bad to me. But to me, that's kind of, I think, where I end up just feeling a little bit of a disconnect from this knife. Because as much as I've really liked a lot of things about it, just about everything, frankly, it hasn't really like clicked for me. And I, yeah, other than the pocket clip, I don't know what to assign that to, but I don't feel like it is just the pocket clip. I feel like there's a certain like intangible thing about certain knives and pieces of gear in general where sometimes it just clicks. It just makes sense for me. Um, and sometimes those are surprising things that on paper would make less sense to me than this, but it clicks with me and I like it and I enjoy it for some intangible reason. And this one, I like this knife, but I don't love this knife. And I'm struggling to figure out why. And I've been thinking about it now for like two days as I've been carrying this knife a little bit more and just trying to get ready for the review. It's not even that I wouldn't recommend this knife. It's very well made but I just don't have this sense of excitement about it. And it's not like that's just from speaking about it for a day. I've been like really trying to think about this one. Um, so I don't know. 
it's, it's kind of anticlimactic, I guess, to come to that conclusion. But the reality for me, and I reserve the right to feel this way every now and then, is that I think this is a fantastic knife. I think it does everything that a knife should do very well. My only real gripe with it is that the pocket clip is a little bit sharp. Other than that, everything is fantastic. But I still don't really, like, want one. <laughs> um, that's not even fair. Like, I would be happy to own one of these. It's, it's all the strengths I already said. But I don't know that if I did have this one, and I wasn't carrying it to review it like I have been now, if I would actually be opening up my knife case in the morning and pulling this one out to put in my pocket. I just don't see that happening compared to other knives that I own. And I know myself, I know that if I had this knife for a month or two and I noticed <laughs> that I'd only carried it once or twice and it was only because I thought, hey, it's been too long since I've carried that one. I feel guilt like it's going to judge me for not carrying it for so long. And then I put it in my pocket for a day because of that. Like, I would end up selling it. I just would. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a weird conclusion on this one. I get that, but that's where I'm actually at on it. Um, one thing I'll say as well, if you have experienced the Sharp by Design Evo series of knives, I've actually only owned the Evo Typhoon, so I can't necessarily speak for the Void or the Micro Evo, um, but I had an Evo Typhoon and I loved that knife. It was one of my favorite knives that I've owned that I don't still have. Um, one of the knives that I probably most regret selling. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but as Riat made knives go, Chinese made knives in general, of all the Chinese manufactured knives that I've owned, that knife was the best in my opinion. The way it was finished, the way it carried, the way it felt in hand, all of it. I loved that knife. And one of the things that I adored about it was the action. And it was a little, like, I feel like a lot of React made knives are very, very drop shutty. And they also have a fun deployment. And I love drop shut, don't get me wrong. But it had the deployment that was just so satisfying. The weight of the detent and the crispness of how it would break and the speed with which the blade would fly out and just deploy to a solid lockup. It's great really really great and this is the closest I've felt to that knife since it's not exactly the same I'm not gonna say that they're using a different detent system even than the sharp by design knives do um, but as like react made knives go and just knives in general this feels the closest to that so I really I find myself quite enjoying this action I really that's probably my favorite thing about it but <laughs> even after all that I just don't I don't feel an attachment to this knife. So, I guess that'll be that. <laughs> this is the Matt Diskin IDF Integral Diskin Folder. Thanks again to Joe for sending it. Again, he's linked down below if you haven't checked him out. Um, he is worth watching. He's an entertaining dude, and uh, I'm glad to have him as a friend of the channel at this point. So, there you have it.